Welcome to our YouTube channel A to Z Summary. Here is a detailed analysis and summary of the play Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf by Edward Albee. Before proceeding further to the summary, I request you to please subscribe our channel and like this video. We have a huge collection of books and novels. The themes of the play are The characters of the play are Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? is a powerful play written by Edward Albee. It explores the complex and dysfunctional marriage of George and Martha. The couple engages in intense and often brutal verbal battles, revealing secrets and playing mind games. With sharp dialogue and intense performances, it provides a raw and unflinching look at the complexities of human relationships and the toll they can take on individuals. Nichols skillfully captures the emotional intensity of the characters, making it a gripping exploration of the darker aspects of marriage and human nature. In Act 1, Fun and Games In the living room of their spacious New England home, George and Martha, an aging couple, are engaged in a heated post-party argument. Their bitter exchanges, laced with sarcasm and thinly veiled resentment, set the stage for a night of emotional turmoil and psychological warfare. As the tension mounts, Martha reveals that she has invited a young couple, Nick and Honey, who are new to the faculty at George's college, to join them for drinks. George, initially taken aback, reluctantly agrees, sensing that Martha's invitation is more than just a social gesture. The arrival of Nick and Honey interrupts the couple's quarrel, but the underlying tension remains palpable. Martha, with her sharp wit and flamboyant personality, takes center stage, regaling the guests with tales of her grand past and her husband's supposed failures. George, on the other hand, retreats into a shell of irony and detachment, masking his deep-seated insecurities. As the night progresses, the facade of civility gradually crumbles, and the couple's relationships begin to unravel. Nick, drawn to Martha's vivacity and charm, finds himself entangled in her emotional games, while Honey, initially naive and wide-eyed, becomes increasingly uncomfortable with the escalating hostility. The truth about Martha and George's marriage is gradually exposed through their verbal sparring and cruel taunts. They mock each other's aspirations, belittle each other's accomplishments, and deny each other's deepest desires. Their exchanges are laced with a sense of hopelessness and despair, revealing a relationship that has long since lost its love and vitality. As the alcohol flows, the couple's inhibitions slip away, and their hidden resentments and insecurities rise to the surface. George and Martha engage in a vicious battle of words, exposing their deepest vulnerabilities and laying bare the painful wounds of their past. In a moment of desperation, Martha reveals a shocking truth, she and George have invented a son, a fictional character who serves as a refuge from their barren and loveless marriage. The revelation plunges the room into silence, leaving Nick and Honey stunned and bewildered. The act ends with Martha and George locked in a dance of destruction, their relationship spiraling further into chaos and despair. The young couple, caught in the crossfire, is left to question the nature of love and the complexities of human relationships. In Act 2, Walpurgisnacht. The second act takes place later that night, after Nick and Honey have left. George and Martha, now alone, continue their relentless assault on each other, their words cutting deeper and deeper. Martha's facade of strength begins to crumble, and her vulnerability surfaces as she confesses her fear of loneliness and her longing for genuine connection. George, equally vulnerable, admits his own failures and regrets, revealing a man trapped in a life he never desired. Their emotional turmoil intensifies as they delve into the depths of their past, reliving painful memories and confronting the ghosts that haunt them. They blame each other for their unfulfilled dreams and shattered expectations, their words fueled by a lifetime of resentment and disappointment. As the night wears on, the lines between reality and fantasy blur, and their invented son, the sun, becomes a tangible presence in their midst. They engage in a bizarre game, pretending to interact with their imaginary child, their laughter tinged with desperation and sadness. The act culminates in a moment of cathartic release as Martha and George, exhausted and emotionally drained, finally confront the truth about their marriage. They acknowledge the emptiness of their existence and the futility of their attempts to escape their reality. In the end, they find solace in each other's misery, embracing their shared pain as a bond that ties them together. They vow to remain together, not out of love or passion, but out of a mutual understanding of their shared desolation. Act 3, The Exorcism The final act of Edward Albee's Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf takes place the morning after Martha and George's tumultuous night of emotional turmoil and self-destruction. The couple awakens physically and emotionally drained, their faces etched with the weariness of their struggles. 
Martha, in a moment of clarity and newfound sobriety, suggests that they kill their imaginary son, the son, recognizing him as a symbol of their failed dreams and the emptiness of their relationship. George, initially resistant, eventually agrees, realizing that their fictional child represents a denial of their reality and a barrier to their acceptance of the truth. Together, they perform a mock exorcism, symbolically casting out the ghost of their lost child. This act of release allows them to confront their barren reality without the crutch of their fabricated son. The exorcism serves as a turning point, marking a shift from their self-destructive games and illusions to a more honest and confronting portrayal of their relationship. As they dismantle the myth of their imaginary child, George and Martha engage in a series of painful admissions and confessions. They acknowledge their failures, their regrets, and the deep-seated insecurities that have crippled their marriage. Their words are laced with a sense of raw honesty, stripping away the layers of pretense and revealing the naked vulnerability beneath. In this moment of unvarnished truth, Martha and George confront the ghost of Virginia Woolf, a symbolic representation of societal expectations and the pressures of conformity. They reject the notion of an ideal marriage and the societal norms that have stifled their true selves. They embrace their imperfections and the unconventional nature of their relationship. The exorcism, while painful and cathartic, also marks a moment of reconciliation and acceptance between George and Martha. They recognize that their shared pain and disillusionment have created a bond between them, a connection forged in the depths of their shared misery. As the act draws to a close, George and Martha find themselves at a crossroads. They have confronted their past, acknowledged their failures, and cast out the illusions that have blinded them. The future remains uncertain, but they have taken the first step towards an uncertain but potentially more authentic existence. The final exchange between George and Martha, I am, captures the essence of their newfound honesty and acceptance. They no longer hide behind masks or pretense, but face each other and the world with a raw honesty that, while painful, offers a glimmer of hope for a future built on truth rather than illusion. What is the message of the play Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? The play Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf shows how lies and illusions in relationships can lead to pain and destruction, highlighting the importance of facing reality for genuine connections. What is the plot of Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? The play follows the tumultuous night of a married couple, Martha and George, as they engage in intense verbal battles and mind games with a younger couple, revealing deep-seated secrets and challenging illusions. How is Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf an absurd play? The play is absurd as it portrays a night of exaggerated conflicts and mind games between a married couple, revealing the absurdity of their dysfunctional relationship and the illusions they create. The characters' extreme behaviors and the surreal atmosphere contribute to the play's overall sense of absurdity. Why do George and Martha create an imaginary child? George and Martha create an imaginary child to escape the emptiness and disappointment of their real lives. What does George teach? George is an associate professor of history at the college where he and his wife Martha live. What happened to George and Martha's son? George and Martha's son is imaginary. They never had a child, and the character of the son is a symbol of their unfulfilled dreams and the emptiness of their relationship. What does Honey reveal to George that she is afraid of? Honey reveals to George in Act 2 that she is afraid of pregnancy, childbirth, and motherhood. Why did George marry Martha? George married Martha because he was drawn to her vivacious personality and her family's social standing. However, their marriage is deeply troubled, and they often engage in cruel and hurtful exchanges. Why does Martha humiliate George? Martha humiliates George to cope with her own frustrations and to exert control in their strained marriage, using verbal attacks as a way to mask her own insecurities. Why does Martha flirt with Nick? Martha flirts with Nick to make George jealous and to assert her own attractiveness and desirability. Why did Nick marry Honey? Nick married Honey because he thought she was pregnant. However, it turned out to be a hysterical pregnancy, and their marriage is based on illusion rather than genuine love. What does the ending of Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf mean? The ending of Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf suggests that George and Martha have confronted their past, acknowledged their failures, and cast out the illusions that have blinded them, leaving them to face an uncertain but potentially more authentic future together. What happens when George shoots at Martha? When George shoots at Martha in Act 1, the gun discharges a parasol instead of a bullet, symbolizing the impotence of their relationship and the emptiness of their lives. Thank you for reading the summary. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe to our channel for regular summaries. We also have a collection of 1,000 plus summaries of books, novels, plays, dramas and poems at our website a to z summary.com. Thank you and take care.